we are here at Luton, London Luton Airport, and we are off to Zambort. So, flying with EasyJet, mega, mega. Check in online, bag drop off, all through security in about 10 15 minutes. So, well done, London Luton and EasyJet. So, yeah, jump on plane, get to Zambort. Amsterdam, baby. Now going to grab the rental car and then get to the circuit. Let's go. So we are here at Turn 1, the famous Tarzan corner at um, Zambort Circuit in Holland. Uh, so we're here for the FIA um, this Masters Historic meeting this weekend. So I'll be driving with my co-driver um, Graham Wilson again. We'll be driving in the Chevron B8 in the World Sports Car Championship, the Historic Sports Car Championship, as well as the uh, Gentleman Drive, Stella Line Gentleman Driver Series in the Elan. Uh, tomorrow we've got testing in the Chevron. But that's it. I think that we're supposedly straight into qualifying with the Elan on Saturday morning. So that'd be a nice little test, um, especially when the Elan goes so well here. So hopefully we can uh, get a, a very strong overall result with the, the car itself. Uh, championship wise with the Chevron, uh, Graham's currently second at the moment. Uh, we're behind one of the Cooper Monaco's, uh, which we're hoping to try and beat this weekend. Uh, we're in different classes. so. What we do in the race doesn't affect what they score in the points. We're behind at the moment by uh, nine, nine, nine or so points, nine, ten points, something like that. So we've got a lot of coaching up to do in the final three meetings of the year, which is here, Spa, and then um, Port Estoril, sorry, at the very end of the year. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we can see what we can do about that. But um, yeah, I've uh, just done one lap on the scooter. Uh, it's an epic little track. It's literally. Um, literally a circuit in between all the sand dunes what's i think is the runoff areas there's, there's just a big ramp for the gravel um, where the sand dune is effectively so it um it literally is a circuit that threads its way through the middle of the sand dune there's so many like banks to corners as well uh, which obviously take into consideration the, the sand dune as well which uh, will be mega because we can carry some serious speed into all of them so yeah looking forward to a mega weekend it's gonna be a bit showery i think uh, Weather-wise, at the moment it's beautiful sunshine, uh, probably about 20, 20 or so degrees. There's always quite windy circuit here because literally over that bank is the sea, uh, the North Sea. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, we'll probably catch up tomorrow, I think, uh, for a bit of testing in the Chevron. Chat to them. Ciao, ciao.
I finished up here for the day at Zambor, the last session of the day. It dried nicely to a beautiful afternoon. Um, did a quick install out, we only had 25 minutes between the two of us, and we had to uh, check the engine was okay, had new uh, distant pads all around as well. So, um, got all that sorted. Car's quick, pretty leery, but quick. So, we're going to probably dial some of that out and then, yeah, hit qualifying tomorrow. I think we, where did we end up? We ended up. Ooh, something out. No idea what that was or why, why it's out. <clears throat> but yeah, we ended up top 10. This is not a bad start. So yeah, should be good. Should be a good day. afternoon from a bit of a grim and rainy Zambort you can see the weather that's just come over us and hopefully the weather that is coming our way it is um, not on the forecast to say the least we've had a very drawn out morning so far uh, got up pretty late for a, for a Friday morning for testing uh, went through some video and stuff with Graham at the back of the hotel then we had drivers briefing for the sports cars which I got told off for for last time out at um, Nürburgring for my start. Um, make sure you check out that video here. And um, yeah, it looks like it's, it really, really tipped it down. So hopefully it will dry out a little bit later on for testing, but I'm not sure if it will do, I must admit. Really get an aspect of the dunes in the background just here, you can see, and then the circuit is sort of way back there somewhere. It literally threads its way all through the dunes. Very, very cool track. So yeah, looking forward to getting out a little bit later on. Saturday morning now and um, we have two qualifying sessions today, one for the LAN, one for the Chevron. Uh, it's currently about quarter past nine, something like that. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Had a bit of a storm last night apparently, but I was too KO to, uh, to notice it. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and get a quick lap in the LAN in qualifying at the very beginning of the session whilst the track is partly clear. Uh, we've got a 40 minute session because we didn't have any testing yesterday so uh, quite a long session to put the time in so looking forward to it i think the alarm will be faster around here going for pole let's go look at that my lovely mechanic's got p1 we like that so just behind we have the pole position cars in the bonnie class for the masters fia sports car championship had a good day all round, the land was on pole as well. Um, and now just enjoying the sunshine, watching one of our other drivers, Andreas Tortoni, out in his Cortina. So yeah, looking forward to tomorrow, early, early start. So early day for us tonight. Uh, we're out at eight o'clock in the morning, the earliest race I probably will ever have. So yeah, we'll catch up there, ciao, ciao. is a good morning here at Zambort. Beautiful, beautiful blue sky, sunrise coming up in the background. Kind of shows how early it is. Early, early starts here this morning for the LAN. Um, we're out in about an hour's time at eight o'clock in the morning. So yeah, get a few, get a bit of sugar down us, wake us up. Um, we're starting ninth overall, P1 in class. Graham's gonna start. Um, yeah, looking for a strong result for a, a strong circuit for the LAN. Yeah, let's go. Days don't get much better than this.
now come to an end. Um, it's been quite busy busy morning certainly starting off so early uh, but two good results two class wins uh, one in Milan uh, which was really really good even though I ended up without a clutch at the very end of the race probably the final half of my stint so good sort of 30 minutes or so I was having to shift that up and down without a clutch which was an interesting challenge to say the least lost a couple of um, seconds a lap as a result of it uh, but I don't think we would have been able to catch the uh, Cobras that were ahead of us. Uh, Tom Coronel was driving it as well so that would have been pretty cool to have a good little dice with him but um, I think the Cobras are just a little bit too pacey uh, for the Elan this year round. Um, sports car race was a funny one. It was another very chaotic race. There were four safety cars in total. Um, I was out there for two of them I believe so every time you got a gap um, obviously we're racing the other chevrons in class every time you got a, a gap to them uh, it would just immediately get diminished and then and then uh, we'd have another go but then it get diminished again I rolled the dice a little bit slash made a mistake I stayed out a lap longer than I should have done under safety car I was gambling on the, uh, the lights going green so I could get another few minutes underneath my belt so gap the cars behind but they stayed under safety car which meant that we dropped right to the back of the field Graham did a mega mega job he had a fantastic stint uh, to drive from the back to catch the class leader and pass the class leader as well so uh, exactly what we wanted exactly what we needed so uh, yeah Graham's been on top form this weekend so yeah hence the two pretty easy results uh, even though I tried my best to make it hard for him uh, accidentally so yeah another mega mega weekend Zambolt's a fantastic track it's been a, it's a beautiful weekend all round as well coming back with a bit more of a tan um, so yeah now looking forward to the big one the spa six hours we've got a lot of racing that weekend so um, yeah, that's in two weeks time the car's gonna get prepped um, I believe the endurance engines going back in um, the Elan at least and then also we've got Chevron races there as well so yeah busy times ahead can't wait buzzing for it so yeah adios from Holland and we'll catch up uh, next time out at either Goodwood Revival if I go there um, or or Spa itself so um, yeah if you like these vlogs again continue to uh, post comment any suggestions that you want to see something I can do a bit different um, then yeah I'm really uh, open to advice like that yeah catch you later bye bye